Andre, when you look at just overall, these guys were so efficient on the offense in the first half, and then you're up 21, and mm, so how are you, how do you view the game in totality when you get a win but didn't finish the way you guys wanted to? I mean, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, and, like, it was emotional. It was like a emotional type of energy out there. It got quiet a little bit. I think because we we know we could do better. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's playoffs and it showed. Uh, I'll say, you know, in that fourth quarter, they had a little small lineup out there. It was red and everything. And I won't say it gave us trouble, but we were missing shots. And them dudes was just being relentless, just, you know, doing what they do, you know, scoring the ball as best they can. And, you know, that's why I got kind of ugly down in the stretch a little bit. You know, um, we got away from our principles, but stuff like that, we need I'm glad that happened early. You know, a little eye opener to where that these dudes don't give up. So, you know, basically just, you know, break the dang gas pedal. That's it. Just break it. Don't take your foot off of it because they're not letting up. My only other question was the way the game started with, with you getting off early. Was that a point of emphasis going into the game or did that just sort of come out of what was working offensively? That's natural. Um, we take what the defense give us. Um, you know, uh, finishing – uh, you know, small matchups and, you know, having deep steals, deep steals in the paint and finishing my roles even when I don't get the ball. I'm creating an offense for the team, opening up the floor. And, yeah, it was good to see some threes knocked down today, man. You know, um, that's, that's our type of basketball. Yeah, how do you like uh, offensively just the way you guys were able to force them into breakdowns? You, you got a couple of those lobs just the way the space was feeling for you guys. Yeah, I'm um, just, uh, just trusting CP, um, you know, making him see the floor and, you know, telling us the little things to get us going. Um, you know, it wasn't that much to really lock into, but just to play our basketball and, you know, play it soundly. You've been doing well on those Lucas switches since your guys' rookie year. How would you assess the way you defended him tonight in those situations? How I defended? Yeah. Uh, I could do a lot better. Um, I think he got to the paint a lot on me, but, you know, my shifts was in, in place to to protect me, but... I could definitely try to guard better and, you know, um, try not to foul as early as I did today or tonight's game. And, you know, just mainly communicating from early, you know, um, you know, when I'm out there on the switch and just making sure dudes are shifted for me. We've talked a lot about the Mavs and their five out offense and how important that point of attack defense. How did you feel you guys did with that tonight? I think we did good, you know, um, despite the, the last, you know, um, eight minutes in the game in the fourth, but, you know, early in the game, I think we had a, we had pace and we were getting stops and closing up possessions, you know, um, where we were, we were running a little bit. You know, we got on a run and ran our offense and, you know, dudes was getting up threes and it, it felt good out there. How good was it to see, you know, guys like campaign and you mentioned the threes following mm -hmm. and that type of thing. How good was it to see that bench production? Man, that's, a, that's just the camp, campaign, campaign and Cam Johns. That's our energy. Like, you know, when them dudes are gone and, you know, the, especially on both ends of the floor that, that, that's our heart and soul right there, especially when we get in threes from the, from the three. Uh, D.A., yeah, could you just put into words, give us a sense of how different it is, what you were dealing with in that first round versus the way you're operating in the second round? It feels like it couldn't be more different. Uh, uh, I'm using my hook shot now. Got to use the hook shot. Uh, you know, Valentino is not there to send it in the, in the, in the backcourt, but, you know, um, just – it's a lot more small, smallest than the first round. Um, you know, just I'm finally finishing my roles. You know, at first I couldn't get as much, you know, roles where I'm getting a seal or a duck in. You know, I had to do a little short roll, but I'm finishing my roles now where, you know, I can get a big seal at the rim and, you know, just have the basket right above me um, three feet away. So um, that's, the only, that's the main difference, just, of, just playing around the rim instead of playing in a short roll. Uh, you guys are really focused on the ball handler tonight, especially in that first half. And they kept getting open backside threes, you know, on the weak side when, when Luca or somebody would dump it back there. Was that the defense collapsing too much or, or what's your take on it? Yeah, it's a little bit of both. Um, just, you know, finishing the roles and creating that offense, you know, um, bringing a lot, bringing as much as attention to the pain as, as possible, you know, to make it effective to where we can spread for the threes. And, you know, I guess they, they got – caught up on a couple where, you know, book got going on them threes. Yeah, there's always the human nature side of things. There's a couple of days between games, and you'd think that the team that won 
the other team would be naturally more desperate going into it. The fact that the fourth quarter went the way it did, can you guys get the both uh, the best of both worlds to get the win, but also kind of feel that um, yeah. anxiety or whatever going into the next one? Yeah, um, it's not anxiety, but, you know, cleaning up, cleaning up, knowing that we, you know, we did not close this game out the right way. You know, um, and this is playoffs basketball and that, and, you know, it's unacceptable the way how we close it out. And Coach got on us about that. But at the end of the day, you got to win the game. And, you know, um, us as a team, um, I won't say we, we treat that as a loss, but I know for a fact we're not closing out a game like that again. Um, you know, we're going to be way more locked in like we just came off of the L because the feeling and the gut feeling we walked out the locker room with, you know, not everybody was really – you know, happy on how we ended that. So I know for a fact we're going to be completely locked in and super ready to go to 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 uh, you know have a better close a better game and try and close it out and not do it the way we did tonight. Da, to that point, with six minutes or so to go, you're up by 21. You've got the bench out on the floor, in the mindset of you guys, all you starters. Did you think the game was over, and then you had to reset and get back? Back out on the floor to finish the game. Um, I mean, we we're not we're not like a team like that where you know we we feel like you know we we were up a about up some points and we just you know just settle down and relax. You know, mainly just you know sitting there watching our bench, making sure they they close out and make sure they play the right way because that's 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 the type of team we are. We coach take the starters out and have the bench in. Um, mainly just about playing the right way. Um, you know, playing the right way and finishing off strong. So, I mean, today, today wasn't it. So, I mean, for a fact, we're going to try to get back and, you know, get in the lab and polish up some things. Yeah, Andre, uh, JaVale stripping of Luca and the dunk kind of ignited the arena. What was your reaction to that play? Oh, my reaction? Man, I think I, I went outside the coach's box. You know what I'm saying? I was all over the place. I don't know where I was, but you know, I know I was bumping into everybody, and then they scored, and I sat back down. <laughs> they they quieted us quick, but I definitely was very excited about that. You know, you know, Vail uh, stepping up and you know guarding the perimeter a little bit, even above the the three point line, and you know just seeing how active the things we worked on playing in the game is. I call that the busy the Bismack Biombo effect, man. Um, you know, the dude always pressing the ball and using his hands on defense. So that was good to see by Vail. Besides Ms. Gee getting that stop on Luca and stripping him for the dunk, you had a, another stop on Luca earlier in the game. How did that feel? And you feel like that could continue and you know, wanting to go and switch out and stop him? I mean, I don't feel no way. I mean, whoever got the ball and I got to switch, I got I to try and stop him. That's just me. Um, um, you know, feeling some type of way on stopping somebody. Um, it's the NBA. You really can't stop nobody. You're really guarding them. So if I'm really – Guarding Luca, I'm just guarding him. I ain't stopping him. You know, he missed him because he missed by himself. He missed on his own. It ain't because of me. You know, I'm just in front of him. Luckily. You know what I'm saying? All right. Appreciate y'all.